What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite species of snakes. Well, my all around favorite species of snakes and that is reasons why I love blood pythons. And before we even start with that intro. All right, everybody, so welcome back. Like I said, we're gonna be talking reasons why I love blood pythons so much. I get a lot of people that ask me, why do you like blood pythons so much? You know, most people, it's either boas or berms or retics or ball pythons, but for me, it's blood pythons. And we'll start off with reason number one is for the simple fact that to most people, they're scary. So what that means is not a lot of people are gonna be interested in these guys. So you kind of feel like you're a part of an elite group, so to speak, you know, just that small percentage of reptile keepers who actually will put the time in to deal with these guys. And um, it's been a great journey. Kato is five years old now. It's been a great journey. As you can see, he's a big boy. He's, he's, he's getting up there. He's pretty big, getting ready for an upgrade. But it's been a journey literally from day one. And I'll post some pictures up here so you guys can see how small Kato was when I first got him. Could literally fit in the palm of my hand. But for the simple fact that these guys are probably just now really getting their shine. They're just now getting that type of attention from a lot of other reptile keepers. And that's not to say I've been dealing with blood pythons all my life because I have it, but I've seen them before, I've worked with them before, and I've always just been fascinated by them. The entire family, you know, from the bloods to the shortheads to the Borneos. Um, now, since uh, most people don't like to deal with these guys, it's mostly for that reputation that they have a bad temperament. And that is not at all always the case, as you guys can see. It just takes work, just like it would for any type of boa or python or anything for that matter. I think what's intimidating about these guys is these guys can probably be a little more relentless and typically, at least Kato, um, unlike boas, at least Kato, isn't the most vocal snake. Now he'll let out kind of like a, a slight, like a chuff type of noise, but he's not the type of snake that'll just sit there and hiss with his mouth open. And I feel like that kind of bothers people. They don't get that warning before the snake bites. They just kind of do it. And you know, with snakes being so quick, that's what, what bothers most people. And then being a pretty heavy bodied snake, it doesn't make it any better. Now, reason number two that I like these guys, which is probably the biggest reason that I like them, uh, Kato not only is the first snake that I bought, um, but blood pythons in general, in my opinion, are the best snakes that you can get introduced. They're the best snake that you can kind of jump in that or transition into that big snake world. Um, they get pretty sizey, but not dramatically crazy to, to where you, know, you have to make a whole room and enclosure. These guys get pretty big, as you can see, they get pretty girthy. They look like ball pythons on steroids, honestly. They're very terrestrial. But again, I've said it many, many times. Oh, excuse me. But again, I've said it many, many times. You get that big snake experience without going overboard with it. And these guys, just like ball pythons, do come in a variety of morphs. Now, Matrix Kato here is a Matrix uh, blood python, but there's some beautiful ones out there. And there's a couple breeders that I follow. Uh, my man, Brassman Reptiles, uh, he has some dope ones. Um, Juggernaut Reptiles, uh, Elijah Armas, he's got some dope ones. My man, Micah at Sanguini Exotics, who just took over bloodpython.com. Um, those are like the three main blood python breeders that I actually, number one, look up to, but I actually keep up with and follow their work. So if you're looking into blood pythons, definitely look into one of those guys. Um, another reason that I like uh, blood pythons is simply the way they move. They're a very slow moving snake and they just look really just kind of placid the way that they move. Um, it just makes you sit back and, and just want to observe them even more. They're, they're a very secretive snake. Uh, they mostly come out at night. They uh, love to be in burrows, kind of moist, damp burrows, because um, naturally in the wild, that's what they're used to. And Kato here loves to be in the dark. These guys don't really like light too much, um, which is why Kato doesn't have light in his enclosure. He has a nice heat pad in a cave, um, big water dish, and pretty thick layer of substrate, and he can get under all of it. All right, so now when it's, when it's all said and done and these guys get pretty big, as you can see, like I said, Kato is five. And again, he's very, very friendly. Very friendly. Um, 
These guys make great snakes to add to your collection. Um, a great snake to just kind of let do their thing, take them out every once in a while, and just kind of observe them from there. They're very beautiful, very intelligent snakes. And I mean, these guys, they don't grow extremely fast, but again, it's really gonna get you adapted to that big snake lifestyle without getting too large. Now, something you should know about these guys, which again is something that I've mentioned in videos before, is these guys do not poop very often, but when they go, they go. Kato here, the last time he pooped was last month. Um, generally, um, blood pythons, at least from, from what I know, uh, most usually go around two to three times a year. Um, they metabolize their food very slowly, but again, once they poop, they poop. Uh, the longest Kato has went without pooping has been around 11 months. And if you know anything about blood pythons, that is completely normal. Now, if your snake is losing weight, and they're not drinking water or anything like that, then I would definitely recommend a vet visit because there's something else maybe going on in there. But with Kato, he does fine, he eats his food. I always keep fresh water on hand for him. And as long as they're not losing any weight, they are doing, they're, they're great. So that about sums it up on why I like blood pythons. And again, one of the big factors is for a lot of people, they're too iffy on dealing with them. So like I said, I just feel like I'm part of this elite group that will actually deal with these guys. And I got Kato super, super tolerable of me, uh, so to speak. Um, and man, they just make great snakes. I, I love when I take Kato out. Um, Kato has also done uh, one or two events with me and we have never had any issues. So it's one of those things where you have to really just kind of have some confidence in yourself and learn your snake. Let the snake learn you and you will be perfectly fine. So that's it for today's video, guys. Reasons why I love blood pythons, reasons why they are my favorite species of snake. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Drop down below what your favorite species of snake is. What reasons do you have for liking those guys? Uh, follow me on Instagram at DW Exotics and please make sure you stay tuned because we hit 10K. I'm going to be throwing up my uh, giveaway here. So make sure you sign up for that. Uh, follow me on TikTok as well. I've been growing that as well. And as always, stay exotic.